Campaigns, not just for politicians anymore. Never just for politicians. I'm Olivia with Whole Whale, and today we're going to tell you how to set up a campaign in Moz. Okay, but first of all, what is Moz? It is a fantastic SEO tool. It can run crawls on your site and act as the canary in your SEO coal mine. It's also a great resource for learning and for doing keyword research. And the best part is they offer a 75% discount for nonprofits. You can check them out at moz.com. So assuming that you have already signed up for a Moz account, you can log in, click on Moz Pro, and click on Campaigns. This is available when you have Moz at that pro feature, which is when you start to get the 75% discount. You can manage current active campaigns, look at deactivated campaigns, and to add a new campaign, we scroll to the bottom and hit New Campaign. Let's say we want to track the uh, Peter G. Peterson Foundation's main website, pgpf.org. This is a whole whale client, and we love working with them, so we want to see how their SEO is doing. Once we've added the URL and the name of the brand, we click Next and set a crawl limit for how many pages we want Moz to crawl. We can then integrate our Google Analytics property within Moz. This may take some scrolling if you have a number of Google Analytics properties as Whole Whale has accumulated over time. And if you don't have a Google Analytics account configured just yet, that's no problem. You can also skip this step However, we do strongly recommend you include uh, Google Analytics in your suite of services, especially if you're signing up for Moz. Once we've added that, we can click Next and then select the search engines we want to track our rankings for. I recommend going for all four, Google, Google Mobile, Bing, and Yahoo. And then Moz will give us some keywords that they think are related to the website based on how our website is already doing in SEO. A lot of these look great, so I'm going to move ahead. But we can also add more keywords at a later time if there is more content or keywords that are missing that we want to track. We can also add competitors. Moz will automatically again give you a few that it identifies as related to your website. But let's pretend that Whole Whale and Peter G. Peterson are competitors, and we'll just add that for now. This finishes uh, adding our campaign, and we can check it here in a dashboard. Obviously, this will take a little bit of time, but we can start to look at things like rankings and page optimization once Moz has gathered that initial campaign data. We'll take a look at what you can actually do with these campaigns, as well as how to max out your keyword research in a couple of future episodes of Whole Whale TV. In the meantime, if you have any pressing SEO questions, you can leave them right below in the comments. And if you really want to take a deeper dive on SEO, we have a whole course for that. Go to wholewhale.com forward slash university to access our SEO and writing for the web course. You can even access it for 80% off using the code WWVideo. I'm Olivia with Whole Whale. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.